Hello. Are you ready to answer some of the questions yes, of, of the European News Parliament? Thank you. How would you explain what UIP is in one sentence to a person who has never been to UIP? Well, I think UIP is a platform where you can um, discover your paths, um, your path in the in the network. I think it gives you the room to um, develop yourself, basically. And what is an international session? An international session is a nine-day-long uh, international event. It's the flagship event of the European Youth Parliament, and it gathers 300 youngsters to debate uh, from 35 countries. How long have you been the head organizer of 90th international session? Well, I've been the head organizer for two years and uh, six months since the very first idea. How did you feel when you got the project? Well, very special because it was actually uh, during the uh, the music day, the, the day of the musician. Uh, mm -hmm. So that was very, very special actually. How many people are in your team? Uh, there are 28. And what is one thing about organizers that nobody knows? Well, that we actually have an international organizer and it's the first one in the history of UAP Spain. Who was the first person you spoke to today? It was Maria, my co-head organizer. <laughs> so far, what has been the most stressful aspect of head organizing an event? Um, probably the late uh, late night meetings and uh, Skype meetings to the distance, basically. What's the best part of being a head organizer? It's basically that it's very rewarding once you, you've done it and that you uh, enjoy a lot, basically. And last, what would be your message to Sam? He's standing over oh, there. Oh, Sam, happy birthday! Thank you so much, Ellie. Happy birthday, Sam! Thank you. Have you been enjoying the session so far? Yes, absolutely. It's been amazing. How hard it was to become a part of the event? So it's been quite a competitive selection, apparently, I was told, but in the end I just wrote out my vision and got selected. So. Uh, in short, what is your secret of writing a convincing application? Um, I always try to present myself by um, sort of presenting the values that I stand for, and I think that makes a big difference. What part of being a group facilitator do you enjoy the most? Um, I really like the fact that you get the chance to actually help and support people in their personal development. Um, what is one cheesy advice you always give to your delegates? Um, I always tell my delegates to, uh, to be true to themselves and sort of follow their purpose that they want to follow. What are some red flags to watch out for during committee work? Uh, I guess time management is actually one of the most uh, challenging things in the community. What would make your experience special back when you were a delegate? So when I attended my uh, first international session, my chair gave us bracelets and we had to make a wish when actually uh, getting the bracelets and then once the bracelet would dissolve, the wish would come true and it actually came true, so that was very special to me. That's great. Yes. What advice would you give to your younger self when you were a delegate? I would probably tell myself to just speak up for my own opinion and uh, get out there and speak up for my for my, for my opinion. What is the first thing you will do after Valencia International Session? I'm actually going to, um, to a festival with friends after this, so I'm really excited for that. Oh, oh do you have to go back to the yeah, cafeteria? Yeah, uh, we're starting right now, so oh, okay. don't mind. Thank oh, you so much. Sam, yes, I was looking for you. Just one question. Do you think I can amend the clause about investing you? Yeah, yeah, that sounds really okay? good. Sounds good. Great, thank you. No worries. Hi, Moritz. Oh, hello. How is General Assembly going? It's going great. Fruitful debates, lots of points, position speeches. Amazing. What is the most enjoyable part of being a delegate? Um, I mean, I think it's pretty great to just not have too many responsibilities mm -hmm. and have everyone do everything for you. Uh, how were you selected for this event? I was uh, selected a l long time ago, actually, in, at an NSC in Esch, Luxembourg. Show us the facial expression you had when you found out you were coming to Valencia. That was a confused facial expression. I did not <laughs> expect it. What team building game do you find the craziest? The coin game. And why? Um, because everybody gets super awkward when it's played, so... <laughs> what is the funniest thing you have ever seen anybody here do? Uh, one time, actually, in Esh, a chairperson got up during GA and screamed they had to go to the bathroom. That was very <laughs> random. That's funny. What metaphor suits UIP the best? I think um, the not game. So, because at first everything's pretty chaotic and after it turns out to end up in this big circle and it's unified. What would you say to a person of your age who has never been to UIP before? Join us. And, hey, do you know this guy somehow? He selected me to come here. Hey, Moritz, how are you doing? Good. Hello. Hi, Ali. On the scale hey. of 1 to 10, how are you feeling today? 11. Let's have a little history tour. What was your first time in a media team? It was in 2015. I was at the second national selection conference of UIP Luxembourg. What was your first ever project back as a media team member? I did a parody of House of Cards with the session presidents and the head of jury. 
Uh, how much does it take for a media team member of a national session to become the head of media of a flagship event of UIP? Uh, go to a lot of sessions, uh, edit some sessions, and definitely become a media team member at an international session. If you had to pick an age to live at eternally, which one would it be? 28. What's the most challenging part of editing IS? It's, it's the energy, keeping up the energy. Can you name uh, your three favorite EYT games in the upcoming five seconds? Uh, Alele, Hihahu, and Tesla. Name one adjective that best suits about Valencia Media Team. Synergetic. Uh, what is one thing that will be the most valuable takeaway from the flagship event? The incredible memories that we make with these incredible people. Oh, and what should be the first question that I ask Paula? What's one thing that gets you through the day? I hate waking up in the morning. <laughs> if my pee was a meal, what would it be? I think it would be a frozen yogurt because you can add as many toppings, or in this case, toppings as you want. Mm -hmm. uh, what impact has the wipe had on your personal development? I've learned too many things, but if I had to choose one, it would be thinking outside of the box. What part of organizing is the most challenging for you? Uh, for me, dealing with gatherings and allergies. Uh, what is one thing that you have learned as an organizer? Um, actually, not only how to organize a session, but also organize myself. What is one thing you wish your organizer didn't have to do? Carry boxes. <laughs> what superpower do you wish you had as an organizer? Um, I wish I could move boxes without touching them. What is your go-to EYP song? Camina. Can you sing a short part of that song? Okay. Camina. Oh, that's nice. And how is I have a beautiful voice in Spanish? Tengo una voz bonita. That's correct. <laughs> Hi, Julia. Could we have you for a second? Of course. Yes. What is something that, about yourself that you have discovered at Valencia? Yes. I think just to take a deep breath and believe in yourself. How would you describe uh, the work of the academic team throughout an international session? So the academic team, it's kind of the clue is in the name. They look after the academics of the session um, and they're responsible for the academic vision and facilitating the delegates through um, their topics that have been uh, created by them. What is the main strength of the academic team of Valencia as a whole? I think they're super patient um, and really hardworking and caring and uh, yeah, they're a great team. Which EYP energizer do you enjoy the most? Oh, it's so hard. I think I couldn't choose one particular um, energizer, but I think what I would say is that at an EYP session it's really important to just take time to energize yourself um, and for whatever you need. But... What is your favorite part of an EYP session? I love Euro Village, it's my favorite. And what food did you like the most at Valencia Euro Village? I don't know. I love, I really love the savory food, um, so that would be my go-to. <laughs> if you could have dinner with anyone from history, who would it be? I was trying to think, I've been thinking about this, and I think I would love to have dinner with maybe like my ancestors, people that uh, are part of my family, and just figure out kind of where I came from and who that uh, has meant for me, what that means for me. Ooh, that's great. <laughs> Is Valencia, yes, your last EYP session? Maybe. Never say never. <laughs> I might regret it. And why Valencia? I just fell in love with the vision, fell in love with the team already. Um, yeah, from the very first minute it was just brilliant. Oh, um, and what would you say to Sophie right now who is having pictures oh, over there? Hey, my name. Yeah. Enjoy your questions. Thank you. <laughs> Hi, hey, Sophie. Guys. What are you consistently good at doing in a media team? I think one of my favorite things to do in media teams is to bring new and alternative formats of media into the work that we do at sessions. Which of your personality traits has been the most useful in the media team? I think definitely the fact that I'm so practical, because problem solving has helped me out of a lot of very sticky situations in the past. What do you think is the most effective promotion strategy for media projects? I think when people have an appellation of what you do in the UAP media, that will make for them to promote it even more, so especially putting people in projects and also promoting it so that they like and share it. Uh, what media projects have you enjoyed working on the most? I think actually the project that I'm doing here in Valencia, but you'll have to tune in to see what that is. Oh, what is the first thing on your mind to start your pack? Definitely a reusable coffee cup or mod. You'll use it all the time. <laughs> have you broken anything while creating content for a session? Actually, I have. I've broken a lens before while taking a shot on the back of a bite. It's just the Dutch things. That's so funny. Uh, can you take a picture of me while you are answering my next question? Oh, yes, of course. Cute. Uh, what did you think was cool to do in UIP when you were a delegate, but it's not cool now? I think not taking every, every opportunity that you can, like performing in a Euro concert or mm -hmm. asking questions during a panel debate. Always take those opportunities. 
What a great advice. What would be a piece of advice for an EY peer who wants to join media team in the future? I think don't be afraid that you don't know technical things or software because those are the things you learn. As long as you have the right mindset, you'll definitely make it. Thank you. Have you seen Osma today, by the way? Yeah, I think she's around. Oh, look, she's over there. Oh, yeah, hi, Osma. <laughs> What's up? Hi. Hey, uh, can you tell us what you're working on? Don't look, it's a sessions video. Come on. <laughs> oh, wow. As an editorial assistant, what do you work on the most? I work on the team spirit as well as personal development of others. If you were not in the media team, what other role would you like to have at the session? Shh, as cheesy as it might sound, I'd like to be a delegate. Oh wow, if Valencia Yes was a movie, what would it be called? I'm a huge fan of cartoons, that's why, how to train your team member. What is the coolest thing you have done in a media team? Once I made an EYP dance video with every participant of the session. Go check it out on YouTube. Oh, I will. What is that? If you were told you only had one more session to attend, where would you go? I think Iceland would be epic. And what is the most ridiculous thing you have done for the sake of EYP? Once, me and my friends uh, became street musicians to earn money for the session and we fundraised 100 euros. Uh, what is the most essential thing for a media team member? The most essential thing for the media team member is positive energy. Uh, and why so? Who doesn't love happy people, am I right? <laughs> yeah, and how is you are the best media team member in your native language? Do a Slovak journalist. Thank you, Asma. I will go <laughs> work on the session project. <laughs> hey, Irida. Oh, hi. Can we have you for a minute? Sure. How are you feeling today? I'm feeling great. It's the first day of the GA, so it's quite cool. What are the three steps to write a good resolution? Uh, be cohesive, have ideas that serve a purpose, and use language that you understand. When did you start UIP? Back in 2008. Oh, wow. And what made you stay this long? Uh, meaningful friendships and getting to know people from around Europe that I wouldn't have if I stayed back. How would you explain what the vice president of an EYP event does in one sentence? It basically supports both the president of the session and the chair's team and the whole academic preparation and throughout. What would be the most appealing part of the event for a non -EYP year? Um, I would have to say Euro concert uh, because there are great performances coming up there. And what performance from the Euro concert did you enjoy the most? I would say the one coming from the Spanish uh, delegate Mireya and then afterwards with, from our president Julia. Oh, that's cool. What, did you, what do you hope to have accomplished by the end of the event? Uh, be more mindful towards uh, what we are doing as youth and as a youth organization and have fun in the greatest sense of making new friendships. Oh, that's nice. And as Valencia Yes is sadly ending, what will be the first thing you will remember? I would remember uh, all the people that I met here and how I want to keep meeting new ones so I can still keep going. And last question, how do you say see you somewhere in Europe in your native language? Talemekabs <laughs> See you somewhere in Europe. Bye, see you. Bye.